Welcome back, fans and friends. I don't know if I have a favorite, but I do happen to like Station Wagons. I don't own one, I own a hatchback, but uh, still. Uh, for this upcoming video, I do have another Station Wagon. And this one, as you can see here, is Matchbox. Because otherwise, it's actually not uh, easy to find premium versions. There are, like, uh, the higher-end ones. Not Auto World, but Auto World has a few. I don't know how modern they are, but uh, what's the company I was thinking of? Atomica and a bunch of other ones, but they're harder to find here. Anyway, what I'm getting at for this one is the 2012 BMW 3 Series and Touring, which is also, as you can see here, it is definitely a wagon. And you can just see the 12 E90, so we assume it's the E90 performance version of the car, and 2012, obviously, because of the year it was made. Uh, nothing on the front, except for the BMW symbol, which I think is a little offset to the right. That's not too important. This thing was less than two dollars, and then here we have once again. Uh, how important is it to print it twice? I have no idea, but they've done it. And onto the back, I've complained about the cardboard uh, grading of this back here. It looks really cheap, but uh, they're saving money, charging you more. Here we are, and T zero nine A release, and the BMW logo mark and model designation are trademarks of BMW AG and are used under license. And so there we have everything about recycling, and obviously I've brought this up quite a few times, not for all Matchbox sets or Hot Wheels, because of certain things like uh, the wheelbase is too low, it might be a little bit too wide, too long, a bunch of other things. These things, as you can see here, are mostly, uh, where was it, made for display, not use. And then the lesson is super fast. I don't know what the lesson is for, but I know the super fast, they used to have this... Uh, sub-series of uh, they now replaced it with the collector's line uh, and essentially that's what it's become you're paying about uh, actually the super fast was pretty much way cheaper but it was also years ago so don't take my word for it the car does not come with any sort of a plastic cap on it so it's literally just out of the package like that uh, I brought this up with certain other Hot Wheels and uh, Matchbox as well as green lights. They come with a protective cover. So, favorite part about it, rear view mirrors. Uh, and you can clearly see it nice and easily through the windshield. All angles of it. I like the sunroof. It's great. Uh, but the only one cheap thing you can see there, unfortunately, there's no way, really, really way to hide it. That's the pin. That gray thing in the middle of the sea of tan. That thing, the stamping, as you can see there, it goes straight through. So, starting with the front. 3D painted lights on either side, uh, and the BMW symbol is a little bit offset to the right. Or you know what it is, it's this thing here, this part of the grill. You see how it's much bigger than the other side? It makes it look like it's offset, perhaps it is. Hood is barely noticeable, molded right into the body. So, you know, it's the cheap version of the car. One piece wheels we have there, what should be either BMW and or 3 Series, a bunch of other things. Door handles, nice and plain. Uh, what else is there? Not much else to say. We get to the back. It is very plainly overpainted, uh, solid white, red and white color. Brake lights, and once again the license plate. It looks very much like a Euro Zone license plate. So 2012 E90. That's the performance version of the car. If you need to know, uh, 2012 is the year of this vehicle. It says on the box. There's the gas cap. And seats between five and six, depending on the size of the people and or the configuration, left-hand drive. So that confirms it's more or less Eurozone. I don't know too many Eurozone countries that drive on the right side anymore. I won't get into the ones that changed. Anyway, 2012 BMW 3 Series Touring. I don't need to cover any more than that. 2021, so it is three-year-old release. Matchbox 1283 and there you go, made in Thailand, everything else, the very simple, as you know, these are rear-wheel drive cars, or four-wheel drive, depending on the setup, and the background, people are freaking out, and there we see it, you can see the offset of the BMW logo, but other than that, it looks really nice, you can see into the cabin really easily, seats have reasonable detail, you have there the gear shifter in the middle, the steering wheel it is not huge, but I think it might be a little bit too small, Usually, if you've ever seen my M2 videos, the steering wheel is like the size of a satellite dish. But anyway, uh, reasonably well done. So, fans and friends, 
BMW from 2012, the E90 series, I believe. Three series from Matchbox. This time is from Toronto. Let's give it a quick roll test. Anyway, thanks for watching and to the next one.